Hey, buddy. <clears throat> so, uh, this is, um, it's just a video for Joy. Um, I pop in and out of her uh, stream um, because, I mean, she talks about how, she, you know, I'm boring her and everything's boring her. And I mean, to be honest, um, you know, I mean, there's a hardcore bitterness I feel when I watch her. And I also feel uh, just a hardcore pessimism. And um, part of me is, you know, I guess kind of bored or I think not bored as much as tired of just seeing her rant about the same type of shit and um, <clears throat> not really providing any type of plausible solutions to do anything about it. You know, it's just, I get the feeling like she just wants to watch the world burn and get some good dick and have some fun fucking before so. And I'm trying to, you know, do the opposite. I'm trying to uh, develop a solution, fix the problem, stay positive, be optimistic. So, you know, I find myself not wanting to watch her stream all that much. So, to me, a lot of her shit seems very repetitive. And she thinks the same about my channel. <laughs> so, um... But, uh, I did see something that I hadn't seen in a while. I saw her drop a link, and, um, <clears throat> she, uh, was asking people to jump in and, uh, you know, fucking engage in the stream. Um, I was not present during that live stream. I watched the replay. Um, but, if, uh, you know, tomorrow, um, if she wants to, you know, offer that invitation again... I'll jump in and do a stream with her, you know. I think maybe because we do come from different perspectives, um, perhaps there could be a good conversation out of that. You know, conflict does breed, you know, I mean, creation. You know, more wonderment, more, just more. <clears throat> so, you know, maybe it's a good time. Uh, the first couple of weeks being here in Phoenix, um, they're pretty dark. They're pretty dark, man. Uh, hasn't really been until I've left Awatuki that I've just felt a lot better about everything. So, since I'm feeling better, um, yeah, I don't mind doing a stream. And another thing too, like there's were quite a few times I tried to comment in her chat and my shit wouldn't show up at all or I wouldn't be able to see the chat. <laughs> so it's like, what the hell am I supposed to think? And then now all of a sudden you call me a pussy because... I don't show up when you want me to show up, you know, it's like, whatever, it's, it's cool, I get it, um, but yeah, you know, tomorrow's a new day, so if she wants to fucking do it on the stream, just chit-chat and fucking see what's up and where it goes and go with that flow, then I'm down, I'm game, and, uh, you know, Demonic Druid, I left a comment on his page since he, it's funny too, you know, he gives me shit for impressing, thinking that I'm trying to impress people, and then he, <laughs> And then he goes and says that he accepts my challenge, but I didn't even challenge him. All I did was say, I'd like to see your moves. And I, that's true. I was just looking to see what type of moves he had. I wasn't challenging his moves, but interesting how he took it as a challenge. Um, <clears throat> so since he decided to use those words, um, I decided to challenge him to, you know, a spiritual debate. You know, I'm open, you know, I mean, I know what I know, but if y'all can really work your words in such a way to where you can sway me, then so be it. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to happen because, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about a lot of different things and I've experienced a lot in my life and I know how energy works and I know the type of people that I've met in my life and I've been on spiritual journeys, like where I leave everything that I've known behind and go to foreign places and I've met people and when you do those type of things it has an etheric reverberation that has to be answered and so the answers that I've received are undeniable there's facts there's a whole group of people in Louisiana there's God that I've met every time I look at him I see the Heavenly Father so you know but I, I like to be open I like to hear people out you know um, I don't want to be the type of Christian, you know, I'm a little different, I'm the Buddha, so I'm not going to just completely stonewall people because they are, they're Satan worshippers, no, in fact, I feel drawn to help these type of people more, more so than others in a lot of ways, because, well, for one thing, they're the ones perpetuating a lot of this evil, and, uh, I think that they're also the ones that are the most hurt, 
you know, it goes back to the expression, hurt people hurt people. <laughs> and then another thing, since we're just sitting here talking, or I'm talking to the phone, um, you know, she, I heard Joy read a little bit out of her, her Bible, the new Bible she's been reading out of, and it talks about indulgence in your natural ways. First of all, it's a very vague thing because we all have different natural nature, you know, and the word nature is very similar to the word nurture. So in the society that we live in, we're nurtured a certain way. We're nurtured by all this propaganda. We're nurtured by all this fucking media, all this music, all these movies, all these fucking foods. All this shit is nurturing us. School is a big one. <clears throat> so from that nurturing comes desire, right? And if it's if it's a desire inside of you, isn't that naturally you? You know. So like when those kids, when those people are raping those kids, isn't that a natural desire within them? And in that, <clears throat> and in the book that you read from wouldn't it be their right to do what they're doing because they feel naturally desired to do so this is why that shit doesn't work man you can't there's certain desires that are not healthy that you should not be listened to that should not be indulged in that are there to tempt you and see if you fall for the bait to see if you're able to be pulled on the fucking strings of the devil and how far and how much and how will you dance so, you know, I mean, it's why these books, they, they, they do things in this alluring way to seem like it's okay to fucking go and do all this crazy shit. And another thing, too, if you know how energy works, once you fucking bite into one sin, it opens you up to a whole other level of sins. So, but they don't straight up tell you this stuff because you're supposed to be responsible, but they also dangle it in front of your face like, yeah, go ahead, fucking get your fucking stomachs full. You eat till you fucking pass out and then you're going to wake up and feel better in the morning. Who does that? Who wakes up and drinks a fucking whole keg of beer and wakes up and feels good? Like, it doesn't even make sense. You know, and she talks about how she, she looked kind of drunk in that stream and, you know, she's going to wake up and have a bike ride. And it's like, I'm curious to see, did you really wake up feeling good to go on that bike ride? Or are you just forcing yourself to go on that bike ride because you feel bad about all the alcohol you consumed and the weight that you might gain? These are just questions. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, if anybody wants to have a spiritual debate over this type of, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's just, I don't want to get too fucking fighty, 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 but on a word-based level, I think during a stream, there is a way that the essence of each character can have a certain sway over the moment, and I'm curious to see which sway holds the sway, it takes over, and paves the way, so, alright, I love you guys, have a good day, bye.